I think this is such an incredible initiative that the Aspen Institute has taken on. As many of us know, the Hispanic community is at the center of American life today because of the explosive demographic growth that we've seen over the last few years. The Hispanic population, if it was its own country, it would be the 15th largest economy in the world. Demographics tell us that America's future is inextricably linked to this population. This is America's reality, one that we should embrace but also prepare for. That is precisely what the goal of this program is, which is to not have the future demographic change be seen as a deficit, but something that really will drive innovation, entrepreneurship, competitiveness, growth in our economy. That's what we're hearing from this panel. It's a changing force that is happening in America. It's not something that's going to happen 10 years from now. It's not something that's going to happen 20 years from now. It's happening now. And I think Programs like this help bring these people to light and to help us recognize that it can't wait. Makers Row is an online marketplace for American manufacturing. We help 70,000 businesses connect with about 6,000 manufacturers, and so far we've helped them create about a million products. Latina entrepreneurs are six times more likely to create a business or to start a business, but are they six times as likely to get funding? that's not necessarily there yet. This is our future workforce, these are our future doctors, our future entrepreneurs. We have to make sure that they have the capacity to succeed in our country so that we can continue on this wonderful path of prosperity that we've experienced thus far. One of the most important things that's happening here today is this discussion of the bright spots. Who's getting it right? Where is the progress that we need to think of in the Latino community? Aspen has a great platform as a non-partisan institution that has the ear of many decision makers and that's what we Need. We need to marry the issues of the Latino community with those who can uh, impact policy and who, who can make decisions. The spotlight kind of shines on us as a community when we get to the immigration issue, right? The media knows to, that you need to talk to somebody in the Latino community if you're talking about immigration. And they haven't yet figured out that you should really be talking to the Latino community when you're covering education or when you're covering health policy or when you're covering economic opportunity because all of those things are, uh, are, are our story as well. So we have this challenging balancing act which I think as a nation we haven't quite gotten right. So often we get these images of Latinos as the maid, as you know the gangbanger, as the person who is uh, doesn't have an education. When you look at small businesses being created in this country. They are being created three times as fast by foreign-born people than by American-born. Bringing people in, diversity, inclusion, can't wait because our economy is actually dependent on it. These are the young people. These are the people who have ideas. These are the people who are ambitious. And if you keep them back, it's just going to keep all of us back. And so the issues and challenges and opportunities that face the Latino community are not just Hispanic issues, they're American issues. There's a basic American value, which is inclusiveness. It's about making sure that everybody has the same opportunities that you had. And I think that the Latino community has been at the forefront of that. I mean, the Latino community has been, you know, for 200, 250 years, a backbone of America's economy uh, and, you know, of innovation, of creativity, of the arts and making sure that the new dreamers uh, you know, can also be a part of this. That's something as a society we should all dedicate ourselves to.